Over 70% of the Earth is covered by ocean, and if we take into account the two-mile depth, that ocean becomes a vessel for most of life on the planet. Uh, it's also fairly dark down there, uh, get down pretty deep and the sun doesn't penetrate, so many of the animals in the ocean rely on sound to get around, just as terrestrial animals rely on uh, visual cues. Um, the challenge we have is that humans are getting more and more involved in the ocean between uh, deep water shipping and uh, exploration for oil and gas and minerals and other types of scientific research. We're bringing sounds into the ocean that animals are not habituated to, they're not adapted to, and it's having some consequences. Ocean conservation research has been looking at this field since 1992, and we'd like to share a lot of this with you uh, in a series of little lectures on um, animal bioacoustics, on sound adaptations, on how sound works in the water and, um, and what the challenges are and the opportunities to make the ocean a habitable place and a sound place. I uh, hope you enjoy the series. <laughs>